Hey guys, it's George with Diamond Yard Sports Cards. I have a PSA DNA reveal for you guys. I'm um, gonna have a lot of, uh, like a lot of you guys, I'm sure. I mean, I, PSA is now spitting out all these cards they've had for so long and so creating this huge inventory of cards, but I'm sure we're all happy to get our cards back. Now, I'm sure we would have loved to have had them when the market was going way up, uh, but still, Things are good. The fact I'm getting them back, I'm excited. I've got different orders that are in different processes, like a lot of you guys. But this one uh, is an autographed PSA DNA submission, and it's related to a video I did about nine months ago on a part of a collection I picked up about a year ago um, from a buddy of mine. And these cards were uh, signed, all of them, I think, but two, were signed uh, back in the 70s. A kid used to... My buddy got the collection from a kid, and if you watch my video, I'll, I'll link it below. I did the video about nine months ago with a lot of the cards that are involved. But anyway, he got this collection from a guy who owed him some money, and as a kid, that guy would ride down in Jack Murphy Stadium, and when you know they'd have exhibition games or major league games, he'd ride down there and get a bunch of autographs on baseball cards. So 16 of these cards are from that. Now, the PSA submission um, didn't go exactly like I thought it was going to. Uh, which I believe these days is kind of a common thing. I was surprised, so I'll explain that here uh, in, a, in a minute. So here we go, guys. Let's look at some autographs. Okay, guys, here is the the box right here. Um, so I expected these to all, all be authentic um, of the 18. And so many of them were, uh, and according to PSA, these two weren't. Now I'm going to ask uh, you guys to give me some feedback because I am confused. Um, the first one, front row, Hank Aaron. Uh, this is not part of the collection of autographs. This was um, a front row Hank Aaron that they found had questionable authenticity. Now, I've seen that before. I have one of these Hank Aaron slabbed, and it looks almost exactly like this one. And you can tell me if you think this Hank autograph is fake or not, or not authentic, but it looked it looked pretty good to me. Um, I bought this card years ago, not for, you know, not for too much money. Back then, the slabbed Hanks that were PSA authenticated were going for you know, 50, 60 bucks. Anyway, uh, so this Aaron autograph, they say is questionable authenticity. And uh, I'm kind of, I have Hank Aaron autograph or two, two, three, maybe. Looked a lot of them. So let me know what you guys think. But I, I felt like this was legit. Uh, and I was surprised uh, because these were autographed by Hank Aaron. I mean, not every one of this specific card, number one, but a lot of these, they front row did Bob Gibson and Brooks Robinson and even Roy Campanella. So um, that was a disappointment. This one was more puzzling. Uh, this card, the 74 Seaver, it was one of the best cards. There were a lot of Seavers in this uh, submission, but this one was probably one of the best just because it's just such a cool card. And of all the signatures, I thought this one was probably among the best. Um, Let's take it out here. Let's get a better look. So this Seaver, um, this was signed back in the 70s. Now, you can tell me if you think it's what you think of it. Um, they did not put questionable authenticity on this. On the website, they put cannot render opinion. Inconclusive, cannot render opinion. Tell me if you've ever seen that one. And then when I got the card, this is the, what it said, refund. Well, I would expect they would give me a refund if they can't give me an opinion on this Seaver because I'm paying them to give me an opinion. Uh, not that, you know, they're infallible, of course, we all know that. But if you're paying for an opinion, um, you should be getting one, whether it's authentic or not. But they were unable to render an opinion on this beautiful Seaver card, which again, I am pretty certain is authentic because it came from the same group as all these. Um, so let, let's, uh, let's get to that now. Um, first card, and I'm just going to kind of go as they are. 
um, was a Seaver. Strikeout leaders. 72 top strikeout leaders with Fergie. Mill Stoneman. A lot of these cards are from the, all these cards are from the early 70s, except one card that I got in here that I autographed, I got autographed myself when I was a kid. So there's that, that Seaver. And these Seaver autographs are not, some of them are better than others. Um, this is a 72 pitching leaders, and you can see there another Seaver. He had signed it and then went off and then back on. Um, but I thought it was just, again, a really, these are really bright cards. The cards are kind of destroyed, um, as you can see, but there's, they're the card. I didn't get them graded, just authenticated. This was one I really liked. This is also a Seaver. Boyhood Photos of the Stars, which is from 1970. Uh, it's a 72. Is this a 72? Yeah, it is. Okay. Boyhood Photos of the Stars in red ink. And you can see that signature is remarkably signature similar to the 74 signature that they said they could not render an opinion on. Um, but I thought that was just a neat card um, with him being in, in Little League. Um, next one is another Seaver. This was a good group of cards. This one, you can see his signature is kind of going like the other way. He must have received the card and signed it like that. And so I thought it would be really cool to send this off to the Nolan Ryan Foundation and have Nolan Ryan autograph it. Um, and then had to get it re-slabbed. Um, so I thought that was really cool. This is just a, a neat card. I mean, 73 strikeout leaders is so cool because you have Nolan Ryan's record-breaking 383 strikeout season on the back, along with, I mean, you look at this, the top guys on here, Ryan, Blylevin, Perry, uh, and then the National League, Carlton, Seaver, Sutton, and just the, some of the greats, of the, the greats of their eras and some of the greats of all time. So this was really one of my, one of my favorite cards in submission. Um, that Seaver autograph. This is a tremendously miscut card, but it's a great autograph. 71 Seaver, again, the cards are destroyed, but the autograph is really, really cool. Red ink, um, 71. I just figured, you know, these, these were 20 bucks each to get authenticated. And by the way, the date I sent these off was September 29th, 2020. Logged in December 7th, 2020 and received back today, um, to June 16th, 2021. This was another one I liked a lot. Um, one of my favorite players growing up, Rodney Klein Carew. Again, a destroyed 71 card, but this is the signature of Carew, um, you know, before he's had all the, the heart attack and the heart issues. Um, signature looks different, looks different now. Um, but this 71 card, I, I do like a lot. Um, so nice, big, bold red signature of Rodney Klein. Um, put him back here. And then these ones, I looked them up. This was funny because I just thought these might be kind of rare. Um, and when I got them authenticated, uh, they're the only ones. Uh, 1976 hostess Dave Winfield, Mr. May, very disrespectful comment by Mr. Steinbrenner, but Dave Winfield is one of the greats, you know, San Diego all-star, um, you know, with the Yankees and then just with the Angels, just Dave Winfield could do it all. So anyway, the 76 hostess Dave Winfield um, autographed. I guess this is the only one <laughs> um, in pen. And then to go along with it, we have a 77 Dave Winfield uh, because, again, these were autographed by um, in, in, in San Diego, at, I believe, at Jack Murphy Stadium. The biggest autograph in here is a Ted Williams, and it's not super, super nice, but... It's a Ted Williams, and I was super happy, of course, that it got authenticated. It's this Ted Williams 1970 Tops manager card. And, um, you know, you can see here that it's in ink. Uh, it's not Sharpie, um, but it is authentic pursuant to PSA. Now, you can see the card's got some significant creasing. Let's see if I can get in on that Ted autograph. You can see it there. Ted Williams. Certainly, it'd be better if it was in Sharpie, but, um, you know, you can't go wrong with a Ted Williams autograph, so I was just really happy about that. That was probably the biggest one in the group. Um, maybe not the coolest, but um, the biggest one, I think. Um, so, we'll put him right here. Other ones. Pops. Willie Stargell. Had a, quite a few Pops autographs in here, and he signed them all just Stargell. No Willie Stargell. But I just thought, you know... I didn't have a Stargell autograph, and I figured this was cool in the 71 card. Uh, so I sent it off. 
Um, next one, Garvey. Steve Garvey should be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Absolutely in the Hall of Fame. This is his MVP season in 1974. Let me get a drink here of some adult beverage. Um, so this is MVP year in 74, Steve Garvey. Um, again, you know, the guy did it all. Won a World Series, was MVP, All-Star MVP, I believe NLCS MVP. Uh, probably the best first baseman, first baseman in the National League in the 70s. Uh, next card, second year, Burt Blylevin. Love that card. Love the 72 set. That was a nice one. Next card, 72 Jim Palmer. Nice and bright. Obviously, there's a crease there, but, you know, I just thought the signature was real bold. And the card's still nice, nice and bright, like it said. Uh, 72 Sparky. Anderson, the big red machine. Um, another one, you know, just my son was asking me about Sparky and he said, was he, was he a good baseball player, dad? I said, no, no, he was terrible. He was terrible, but he was a great, great manager. And he managed two of the greatest teams of all time. 84 Tigers, obviously, and the big red machine. So um, heading down the home stretch here. Uh, this was a card that I got as a kid. Uh, we used to go to Sun Angel Stadium here in Phoenix and watch the Brewers train. And I actually got this autographed by Robin Young in 1983, coming off his MVP season in 82. And, you know, I don't know if there's a better brewer. I don't think there's a better brewer, uh, Milwaukee brewer, than, than Robin Young. I mean, really, that guy could do it all. Shortstop, outfield. I believe he won the MVP twice. Um, and, uh, you know, just was good for a long time. And the MVPs are spread out, like 82 and 91. Um, so, you know, he was a top player for a long, long time at multiple positions. Uh, last one, Hall of Fame manager and 1971 MVP, Joe Torrey. I thought this was a great card. My buddy is going to get this back. I'm going to give it to him, um, the one who, who sold me the collection. He loves Joe Torrey. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking it out. Um, be good to each other. Keep collecting.